Sometimes our lack of perseverance is our biggest enemy. Could it be the case that you are quitting and giving up too soon and too early? I want to read here with you the book of Luke. It talks about the Lord Jesus told this story. A man planted a fig tree in his garden and came again and again to see if there was any fruit on it. But he was always disappointed. Finally, he said to his gardener, I have waited three years and there hasn't been a single fig. Cut it down. It's just taking up space in the garden. The gardener answered, Sir, give it one more chance. Leave it another year and I'll give it special attention and plenty of fertilizer. If we get figs next year, fine. If not, then you can cut it down. Here you see a person frustrated, not able to see the results as they were expected. But on the other hand, you can also see here another person that enters the conversation that is convincing the gardener to persevere. In other words, uh, where you want to quit and give up, give me a chance and allow me and give me one year for me to work on that um, tree. I will water it. I will take care of it. I will use fertilizer. In other words, where some people, they see a dead end, where some people are ready to throw in the towel and give up, that's where others, they see an opportunity to persevere. Maybe you are frustrated in life. Maybe you right now feel like that, like giving up on your marriage. You feel like giving up on your health. You have tried everything. You have been to clinics, specialists. You're taking medication and basically you have given up on your situation. You feel hopeless. Maybe you suffer with depression, anxiety. And in short, you are quitting. You are resigning. And God is telling you today, give me one more chance to work in your life. And give me one year to work on you. You have nothing to lose. If things work out, if I'm able to turn things around and change your life, very well, you benefit. It didn't cost you anything. If nothing changes, then all right. Then cut your losses, go your way, do your thing. And this is exactly how the Spirit of God works. When we have the mind of God, we do not just quit and give up. We give it one more try. We invest where we haven't yet invested. We look at every possible opportunity and we look at every single angle and we try to see if there's something we haven't yet done that we can still do in order to save that relationship, in order to bring your child out of drugs, in order for you to save your business. In short, as long as there is an opportunity, then grab that opportunity. No matter where you are in life right now, if you have hit rock bottom, I want you to know that 
there is a way out. Maybe you haven't found the way on your own. Maybe your resources, your tools have not been able to help you find the solution. But that's not a problem because we are here to give you our tools. And with the tools that we're going to present to you, you will be able to get out of your situation and you'll be able to uh, find a much better life, a blessed life, a life that is complete and fulfilled. But you need to give a chance. You need to give a chance to the Lord Jesus in order for him to do the work that he wants to do in your life. Just like you have given a chance to the lawyer, the doctors, the specialists, you give, have given your friends, your colleagues a chance. Take this moment to give God a chance. And if you are still hoping, if there's still a little bit left in your tank, a little bit hope, a little bit strength, then give that little that is left to God. You have nothing to lose. Okay? You can scan the QR code that is here and you'll be able to call us, text us, and you'll be able to get the information and the address how to find us here in Kowloon. All right. We are getting ready for the weekend. And this weekend, we'll be making prayers for your family, for your health. Uh, bring your burdens, bring your problems, bring your stress to God. As we conclude our voice of faith for today, I would also like to invite you to our mountain prayer happening on, on October the 11th that happens annually. And it will be a hike up to the highest mountain here in Hong Kong. And on that mountain, we will be presenting to God our petition, our prayers. And if you want to experience something special, if you need a divine answer in your life, if you need a miracle in your life, join us. You can watch this video at the end and then if you're interested, get in touch with us. All right? May all of you have a blessed weekend. See you at the altar. God bless you abundantly. Bye-bye. An exclusive moment to refresh your mind, body, and soul. Bond with family. And spend quality time with friends, meeting with purpose. That through one simple prayer, you can achieve great victory because there is help from above for those who ask with a pure heart and sincerity there is power in agreement come and join us at the mountain prayer 2024